In this TTS Quick Tips video, we will demonstrate how to add a column in the Canvas Gradebook. There are several reasons why you may want to add a column, however most of them center on the ability to manually grade an assignment, quiz, or test. This is used frequently in the face-to-face -face and hybrid style courses. For example, if you've handed out an in-class pop quiz, you will eventually need to enter those grades into Canvas, as dictated by Reynolds Policy 2-16. Creating a column in the gradebook will allow you to manually enter those grades. In Canvas, only a graded assignment, discussion, or quiz will create a new column in the gradebook. As a result, it is recommended to use assignments when a column is needed. Using our in-class pop quiz example from before, you would actually create an assignment in Canvas rather than a quiz, and then name that assignment pop quiz, unit one pop quiz, or something similar. Let's see what that would look like. First, let's create a new assignment by navigating to the assignments index page as found on the course navigation. Next, locate and click on the red Add Assignment button in the top right corner. On the new assignment page, let's give our assignment a name. Next, we're actually going to leave the assignment instruction box blank. This is because we are only creating a new column to manually grade the pop quiz. Students will not be accessing this Canvas assignment to take and submit. Next, we'll need to add the points, set the assignment group, and choose a display grade. Please note, these settings may vary with your specific assignment. What is critical is to set the submission type to on paper. This will retain the column in the gradebook, but won't require students to submit anything in Canvas. Group assignment and peer reviews will be left alone in this example. And then finally, we come to due date. For face-to-face -face and hybrid courses specifically, we recommend setting the due date to the date you handed out the pop quiz. Finally, click Save and Publish. Here, we can see the assignment page with the details we just set. Now, let's go take a look at it in the gradebook. Once in the gradebook, we can see our newly created Unit 1 pop quiz here. Again, even though this is a quiz that students took in class, we created it as an assignment in Canvas. This allows us to set the point value as well as selecting the submission type on paper, which prevents students from being able to submit anything in Canvas. Had we created a quiz in Canvas, we actually wouldn't be able to set a custom point value, and Canvas would be expecting students to take the quiz itself. And now, all that's left to do is to grade the pop quiz for our students. Simply click the dash in the assignment column and enter the grades manually. If you'd like to leave feedback for your students, click the Grade Detailed Tray icon here. It is here where you can set the assignment status and leave any comments below. If you do leave a comment, be sure to click the Submit button. Once done, you can close your Grade Detailed Tray and then repeat the same process for the rest of your students to post their grades. And that's your TTS quick tip on how to add a column in the Canvas gradebook.